Hi everyone, and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to uh, put out a video, as promised in a previous video earlier this week, um, regarding trusted domains, how we can avoid access generating all these pop-ups. So if we just jump back to the demo database and to refresh your memories, I added here this site um, to make it safe, right? So now it no longer pushes it to edge. But as we saw, if we load it up, so I go to DevHut and it was the add-ins page that I was interested in. If you remember correctly, when I, so I've added this domain, so it's safe now, but even when with that done, when we click on it, it still opens it up in, I believe, a WebView 2 pop-up. So it's not Edge, but Access has generated this pop-up. So it's less than ideal in my opinion. If I'm navigating, I want the navigation to happen here. And I had mentioned there was a solution. It's a very simple workaround. So once again, it is in the article that I created about the web browser. And if you come down here, you'll see I have stopping links from opening pop-up windows. So everything you need to know is here, as you can see, is very simple. And I'm going to just jump through the hoops and show you how it's done. So we're going to close the web browser. We're going to open it in design view. We're going to take our web browser. And what we're going to do is we're going to go into events and on document complete. And this is just, uh, I'm displaying the current URL in a hidden text box that was for another application. We don't really need it here. We can comment it out. But what we want is this here. We want to use the web browser execute JavaScript and we're going to execute this JavaScript command. And what it is, in fact, is very simple. We're using the query select all to go get all the links tags that have a target attribute of blank. So these are the ones that open a new tab. And then for each one of them, we're gonna take the link and we're gonna remove that attribute. So we're basically gonna disable the open in a new tab uh, for any link on that page, only once the page is fully loaded. And that's it. So if we save that and we close this down and reopen it now, and then do the exact same operation. You will see now that we're not going to get a pop-up. It will navigate directly in the web browser. So we finally managed to avoid any form of pop-up. We've avoided getting to edge in a combination of using the trusted domains, and using uh, one line, a single line of VBA code. This still is far from ideal in my opinion because we still have to have pre-listed the domains here. And as you saw earlier, you can end up needing to make four entries for a single domain to make it work properly. So I still technically urge you to look at my complete workaround to bypass using trusted domains at all. And the link, per the usual, will be in the description below. But uh, long story short, I hope this helps a few of you to avoid those uh, pop-ups for no reason if you want to go down the route of using trusted domains. Anyway, that's it for today. Take care, and uh, if you don't mind, like, subscribe, leave a comment. Let me know what you think of this workaround. Have a good day, guys.